Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. Today is day eight of Create December. We are going to go through a few prompts in here. We are going to do number 21, which is cookies, number 22, which is poinsettia, number 23, which is present, number 24, which is list, and number 25, which is Santa. This is going to be my last Sketch With Me Create December video for 2020. I'm going to recap on my supplies in case you are new. Hello, welcome, and thank you for being here. Uh, the supplies that I have been using this whole time, pretty much my entire, this is my favorite supplies, and the supplies that I used for this video in particular are my watercolor sketchbook from Global Arts. I also drew everything out in a pencil first, and then I inked it up with a ballpoint pen there are many different kinds of ballpoint pens, but the ballpoint that I am particularly talking about is an oil-based ink, and I use the ballpoint insert from Bolograph. They are my favorite. They are archival, and they've been around for a very long time. You can also use a Bic ballpoint pen, keeping it oil-based, or you can even get a ballpoint pen from your local bank if you feel comfortable going out in a pandemic and grabbing one. So those um, are the supplies for the first layer. And then the second layer, I apply watercolor. So I am using Letter Sparrow paints. They are amazing paints, eco-friendly, vegan, artist quality. I will leave her information in the description box for you. I enjoy these paints immensely. I am also using my Escoda brushes. They're all size four. They're just different types. I have been asked to do a video on these specific brushes and I will have that for you eventually. But those are my favorite and my supplies that I used for this video. Now, moving on to the next illustration, it is the poinsettia. So you'll see me inking it up here with that holograph. You might ask where I got the um, pen itself. The pen is a copper pen by Keras Customs. So with this illustration, I actually did something a little different. I outlined everything and then I painted my first layer. I did this because I wanted to see what I thought needed to be pushed back in the background just a little bit more before I applied my cross hatching technique of that scribble stuff. So that is why I did it like this. I'm not 100% sure if I would do that again. Um, it was just something that I wanted to try and I think it worked technically for this because of all the depth in the flowers and all the overlapping but um, I don't think that it's necessary for every illustration that I do.
I talked a little bit about the heaviness that I was feeling last week in last week's video. Um, you know, just not being around family for holidays and um, I am trying to make this, obviously, this holiday season special for my kids and uh, just with everything happening in the world, I just feel unsettled. Um, I feel a little bit like maybe all of this is... I don't want to say silly, but um, it just feels all too much. I don't. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I'm still feeling a little bit in that way, and I don't think that that's going to go anywhere. But I will say that you know, uh, with the kids getting super excited and them just they're bringing all the joy they are making everything magical and what i'm trying to do is piggyback off of their magic so that way um i can i can pull this off you know um i feel like it's working and again living in your moment or living in the moment and focusing on their energy has been the key i think in this so Ultimately, I feel that this week I have lightened a little bit. I feel a little bit more confident in making this uh, holiday amazing for them. Um, and I feel that even though I cannot be with my family, I have FaceTime and there are many things that I can utilize that I am super grateful for. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about it this week and hopefully it stays like this. Um, we only have a few days left till Christmas so I think that I'm on the right track. All right, so now we are on to the last couple prompts. You see the present, you see the list that the Santa is holding, and I couldn't help myself but put him in front of a Christmas tree. So that's what I did. I am just inking it up with ballpoint pen, and I'll go into it with my watercolors. He turned out adorable. I absolutely love this spread. I think it is one of my favorites. I mean, I think I've said that every time in almost every video, but these illustrations turned out really great. I'm very happy that I decided to sketch every single one this year. Um, sketching for me is a sort of meditation, and I think that with how I've been feeling lately, that this was the absolute perfect timing for something like this. And um, yeah, I really, really like how this one turned out. I really wanted to say thank you to everyone, to each and every one of you for participating in your way uh, during Create December. Those of you that have watched and left comments, those of you that have watched and not left comments, <laughs> I see you too. Um, those of you that are posting on social media and using the hashtag for your creations, I absolutely love seeing them. Uh, those of you that have uh, sent me personal messages, I really appreciate you and you taking the time to, um, to write me a little note throughout your day. Um, it all means so very much to me and I am, I'm really grateful for you guys. So if you have participated and you have a video for us to watch, don't forget to link that in the comments below. If you are posting on Instagram, don't forget to use the hashtag CreateDEC2020. 
this is going to be my last sketch video with you for the year and for Create December. I am going to come back with a recap um, on Sunday's video, a little flip through of the sketchbook and um, just my thoughts on where I'm at and where the channel is going for 2021. So stay tuned for that and until next time everybody, I'll see ya.